Hello, this is for day 254 of Bible in one year and the Bible text Proverbs chapters 10 to 12 and then 2 Corinthians chapter 4. So let's uh, start reading. Proverbs chapter 10. The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son, make it a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivered from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but in but a prating fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverted her way, his ways shall be known. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirreth up strifes, but the love, but love covereth all sins. In the lips of him that had understanding wisdom is found, but a rod is for the bark of him that is wide of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city, the destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tended to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that giveth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof eareth. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not a sin. Sorry. There wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow with it. It is a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked it shall come upon him. But the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the weary wind passeth, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth, as and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright. But destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh forwardness. Proverbs chapter 11 A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. The righteousness of the perfect shall, delight, shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own nothingness. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of unjust men perisheth. The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his deed. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyed his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. When it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth, and when the wicked perish, there is shouting. By the blessing of the upright the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He that is void of wisdom despiseth, despiseth his neighbor, but the man of understanding holdeth his peace. A tale-bearer revealeth secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. He that is surety 
for a stranger shall smart for it, and he that hateth surety ship be sure. A gracious woman retaineth honor, and strong men retain riches. The merciful man doeth good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. The wicked worketh a deceitful word, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. As righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. They that are of a forward heart are abomination to the Lord, but such as are upright in their way are his delight. Though hand join in hand the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is that scatter it and yet increase it, and there is that withhold it more than is meat, but it tended to poverty. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered unto also himself. He that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him, but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. He that diligently seeketh good, procureth favor, but he that seeketh mischief, it shall come unto him. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. Proverbs chapter 12 Whoso loveth instruction loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. A good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness in his bones. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. A man shall be commanded according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. He that is despised and had a servant is better than he that honored himself and lacketh bread. A righteous man regarded the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. The wicked desireth the net of evil men, but the root of, our, of the righteous yieldeth fruit. The wicked is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. A man shall be satisfied with good, but the fruit of his mouth and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. A fool's right is presently known, but a prudent man covereth shame. He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is held. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but the lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counsels of peace is joy. Sorry, but to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Heaviness in the heart of man make it stoop, but a good word make it glad. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduceth them. The slothful man roaseth not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. In the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. Alright, we now go to Second Corinthians chapter 4. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, 
not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of god deceitfully but by manifestation of the truth commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of god but in our but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the god of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of christ who is the image of god should shine unto them for we preach not ourselves but christ jesus the lord and ourselves your servants for jesus sake for god who commanded the light to shine not out the, to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of god in the face of jesus christ but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of god and not of us we are troubled on every side yet not distressed we are perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not but not forsaken cast down but not destroyed always bearing about in the body the dying of the lord jesus that the life also of jesus might be made manifest in our body for we which live are only delivered unto death for jesus sake that the life also of jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh so then death worketh in us but life in you we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believe and therefore have i spoken we also believe and therefore speak knowing that he which raised raised up the lord jesus shall raise us raise up us also by jesus and shall present us with you for all things are for your sakes that abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of god for which cause we faint not but though our outward man perish yet the inward man is renewed day by day for our light affliction which is but for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory but we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal. Alright, we're done with the Bible reading. So again, this is for day 254, our Bible in one year, and we've read Proverbs chapter 10 to 12, and then 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Thank you, and God bless.